So I get on Rust for the first time ever. I'm like, holy shit. Awesome. Great. Uh, two dudes, Congo and Pankrat, who I met on Reddit, have put in a bunch of hours and were nice enough to um, take me on. Zero hour player. Never been on this map before. And the first thing they tell me is, like, all right, first things first, we need to meet up and officially join teams. Where you at? I'm like, I'm, I'm on C5. Where are you guys at? And they're like, holy shit. Turns out they were on the completely other side of the map by the lighthouse they're like f1 kill hit f1 and type kill to kill yourself and you'll hopefully respawn near us i'm like no let me let me check this place out I'll, I'll walk around i try to pick up a rock not knowing that i have a rock in my inventory i've seen people walking around with rocks didn't realize i had it and then boom next thing you know here comes a guy this is my first life ever i'm freaking out running around naked <laughs> and yeah this is my first life welcome to rust right What's up everyone, Dirty Tabs here, Twitch content creator streaming most nights at 10 p.m. Eastern on Twitch. Before we get into this video, I just wanted to invite you to the stream where we play new games as noobs learning the ropes, link in the description below. If you got this far into the video, hitting the like button would help out my cause tremendously and a comment below would do the same. If you want to show your support even more so, hit the subscribe button and the bell to be part of the Noti Gang so you can be up to date on all my content. Now let's get into it. What's going on? Dirty Tabs here with a quick and dirty vid on Rust. I spent some time learning the ropes on my own, engaging the community and some of its thousand hour vets, acquiring a list of basic must knows to help you get right into the game. If you want to spend hours figuring it out on your own, trust me, even after watching this, you will. But this guide will help guide you as this game is one of those that you can easily get lost in. So let's get right into it. Rust is a PvP game with multiple elements to it. It's one part survival, one part first person shooter, one part base building, and I'm sure there's a bevy of other parts that I've yet to discover. But at its essence, it is a game whose aim is server takeover. It can be all fun and games if you'd like, where you putz around trolling and chilling, but spend enough time in a single server and you'll either find yourself prepping your base to hunker down and protect, or joining the ranks of a few others to raid other bases with hopes of total server control. Which leads me to my first tip. When you open the game and hit play, you'll be brought to a list of server types, along with the many servers each type has. When choosing a server to play in, yeah, look for a good low ping, but more importantly, choose a young server. One that hasn't been around for too long. I mean, hours old if not an hour old. This ensures that not many people have gotten very advanced in terms of weapons and items and levels the playing field a bit. Jump on a server that's days old and you'll find yourself naked with a rock in front of a handful of gun-toting hazmat suits. Also, if you want to get a hang of the mechanics and test things out, find a server that has close to zero people in it. Zero people if possible. That way you won't die quick and you can acquire what you need as you need without anyone bothering you. Speaking of acquiring what you need, get wood and stone. As soon as you wake up your character, your character starts with a rock, take out that rock and start pounding on some trees and stone, as much as your patience will allow you to get. As soon as you have enough for a stone hatchet, and I mean that literally, so open up the inventory, go to crafting menu, search stone hatchet to see how much wood and how much stone you need and as soon as you have that amount make the stone hatchet different tools yield different amounts of mats as you farm use the stone hatchet to farm wood only and not stone as a rock usually yields more stone than that hatchet when you have enough for a stone pickaxe make that and use that to farm stone you are getting as much as you can so you can make your first base Make your base in an area that you feel safe, but that is also convenient for looting. Make your base too close to a landmark and you run the risk of getting run up on quick. Make it too far from them and it'll be really tedious to loot and therefore grow. Your first base should be simple. A simple 2x2 two two foundation with an airlocked entry. An airlock being that triangle foundation with two doors that swing in on each other. 
Now you're going to want to put three things down first and foremost, a tool cupboard, a large box, and your sleeping bag. The tool cupboard gives you building rights to this base. The boxes allow you to empty out your inventory so you can go back out into the map and bring back more stuff. And that sleeping bag is your checkpoint. If you die out there, you will then wake up on this sleeping bag, no longer in some random part of the map. And now that you have a base, you can go out and loot. I'd say first and foremost, find hemp. It's those green plants there will give you cotton and get enough cotton. You have wood, you can make a bow. And if you have stone, which you should, you can make arrows. You're probably going to notice that your character is hungry. Go hunt some animals, go eat. You got to go find either a river or just luck out and hear some pigs or deer running around don't feel bad hunt the animals cook the meat and fill up your hunger bar now you're good to go you have a base make sure you take care of it by keeping the necessary mats in the tool cupboard to prevent your base from rotting explore the crafting menu and try creating new things and find those things by going out and looting in doing so, you learn all about the crafting tables and research table and why you need to accumulate scrap and recycle things. Try engaging others too. Hold down the V key and use the proximity chat. But most importantly, have fun. Thanks for watching. If you have some tips or any questions, leave them in the comment section. Again, check out all my socials. Would love to have you in the stream. So come through where we play new games as noobs learning the basics for you. Find all links in the description below. Take care now. Appreciate y'all. Peace.